please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So it's time for another episode of NHL Remember Him. And today we are going to be talking about a goal scorer who was a really, really good, kind of underrated goal scorer for many years in the NHL um, through the 2000s and into the 2010s before uh, retiring after 2015. But uh, it is Eric Cole who spent a large majority of his career with the Carolina Hurricanes, also made a few stops elsewhere. Um, in places such as uh, Montreal, Dallas, Detroit, Edmonton, um, but did spend most of his NHL time with Carolina and was a very, very good goal scorer for them for much of his career. So before we fully start, I just ask that you please hit that like button if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Both of those things really help out a lot and are very, very much appreciated. But let's get into it here. Looking at Eric Cole's NHL career, he was a left winger, originally drafted in the third round, 71st overall in 1998 by the Carolina Hurricanes. And uh, he came up with Carolina and ended up spending most of his career with them. Um, he went on to play 892 games in the NHL, scoring 265 goals, 267 assists, for 532 career points and a minus 7 rating. On top of that, in the playoffs, he played 46 career playoff games, scoring 6 goals, 8 assists for 14 points and a minus 11 rating. And he won the Stanley Cup with Carolina in 2006, that first season back from the lockout when the Canes did win. So, uh, Eric Cole was one of those guys who was pretty consistently a 20-goal scorer, he also had a couple of 30-goal seasons as well and um, was just a really good scorer in the league for, for uh, a long time. You know, he was drafted in 1998, um, didn't come up until 2001 with Carolina. But then from 2001 through even his final years in the league, uh, he was a guy who could put the puck in the net. Now, what happened with Cole is that as he got into his mid-30s, uh, injuries started to take have a big-time effect on his career, really knocked his production down as he got into his mid-30s because he wasn't playing as many games because he was consistently injured and uh, was having injury problems year in and year out at that point. But for much of his career, he was a pretty consistent 20-30 to 30 goal scorer year in and year out. He broke into the league with the team that drafted him, the Carolina Hurricanes, and played with them from 2001 through 2008. Then in the 2008-2009 season, he started that year in Edmonton after signing with the Oilers, but then was traded back to Carolina that season, and Carolina did go on a playoff run that year in 2009, and Cole was back with the Hurricanes after a very brief stint with the Edmonton Oilers. He stayed with Carolina another few years from 2009 through 2011 where he finally left the organization for good and played with Montreal from 2011 through 2013. Then he went to the Dallas Stars from 2013 through 2015 and this is where the production really started to drop a little bit and the injuries started to pile up when he was in Dallas. And then finally... At the end of the 2014-15 season, he was traded to the Detroit Red Wings, um, did not play a whole lot with Detroit, and uh, wasn't all that great for them, and then was out of the league shortly thereafter. So Cole's career is one that um, you know, was very good for a long, long time, but then faded very quickly. You know, once he got into once he got to Dallas, uh, he had a you know not bad time with Dallas, but injuries were definitely an issue, and he was missing a decent amount of time. You know he didn't reach 20 goals either season that he played with the Stars. He did, or, or any of the seasons that he played with the Stars, he did in the 2014-15 season, but three of those goals came with Detroit, and he only had 21 that year. So. Um, you know, injuries started to take a hold. The games played total started to go down. 2012-2013, um, um, you know, he split between Dallas and Montreal, and he still didn't even play for, uh, 50 games that season because of injury. He only played 75 
in 2013-14. He only played 68 in 14-15, which was his final season. So once he started missing time, he was getting older and his production started to go down. But uh, he had some big, big seasons as well. Um, with Carolina, he had a 30-goal season in 2005-2006. He had a 29-point or goal season and 61-point season in 2006-2007. Uh, he had a massive year. Um, his final year with Carolina in 2010-2011 was very good. He had 26 goals and 52 points that year. And his first year with Montreal was absolutely massive in 2011-2012. He had 35 goals, which was a career high, and 61 points that season. So, um, Eric Cole could put the puck in the net. Uh, his career kind of flamed out very quickly, but... He was a good, good goal scorer for a long time through the really from the mid 2000s into the early 2010s. So it was a nice stretch there of, of offensive production for Eric Cole. And again, over 500 career points, over 800 career games played, almost 900 career games played. Very, very good career for Eric Cole and definitely a guy that you guys should remember and know because he was a pretty underrated player. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.